Now, the federal government has announced that Nigerians will be able to receive their passports through delivery at home or other places of their choice. Minister of Interior Ulubumi Tunjojo uh, disclosed this on Monday at the opening ceremony at the 2023 University of Lagos International Week. He also noted that Nigerians will soon begin to experience the sweetness of the passport application as the ministry has started the automation of the process. Why our students suffer to acquire international passports even when they have paid for it? The pursuit of breaking new grounds across borders is one which gives us great joy as through our children will sustain the future of this great country. We have commenced the automation of our end-to-end -end passport application process and we have given a timeline from which Nigerians will begin to experience what I call the sweet Nigerian experience. By implication, Nigerians will not need to wait longer than two weeks before they get their passport. By January next year, Nigerians will be able to complete their application processes online. And by February next year, with the collaboration of partnership with other relevant stakeholders, Nigeria will have their passports delivered to their homes. Well, the Minister of Interior, Lubumitudiojo, has also revealed that about 99,985 of Nigerian students left the country to enroll in universities in the United Kingdom between 2017 and 2022. Senior Correspondent Sharon Jasson was at the opening ceremony of the 2023 University of Lagos International Week, where the minister was a guest. Every year... Over 100 Nigerian students benefit from the United Kingdom scholarship schemes for postgraduate and doctorate degrees. Students, professionals and entrepreneurs leave the shores of the country to break new grounds across the globe. According to the Higher Education Statistics Agency report, it states that about 99,985 Nigerian students left Nigeria to enroll in universities in the United Kingdom between 2017 and 2022. Why many be content that majority of these students have simply japa <laughs> for other reasons? We cannot also deny the fact that a larger chunk of these students have left with the purest of intent to cross our borders, seek further knowledge for themselves, which in the long run will result to national pride. Our students suffer to acquire international passports even when they have paid for it. Their pursuit of breaking new grounds across borders is one which gives us great joy as true our children will sustain the future of this great country. The Vice-Chancellor University of Lagos, Professor Fola Shade Ogunshola, said there is a need for university administrators to internationalize higher learning. The productivity of academia as a gateway to a knowledge economy is enriched by cross-fertilization of thoughts and ideas that add depth and breadth to knowledge and understanding. My strategic plan, which is premised on four cardinal pillars, namely financial engineering, infrastructural development, research and manpower development, and the acronym FIRM, which aims to make Unilag very future ready, not only future ready, it will be yielding inquiring minds, discoveries. In this plan, internationalization remains a veritable route to foster the improvement of the quality of education and research, as well as expose our staff and students to global best practices. Educationists described universities as the core of civilization and the beating art of the society. They emphasized on the need for partnerships among universities. Sharon Ejasson. Last one. Thank you.